There's more work to do here. This is a hideous path. It's moving. But looking over here, I'd like to do... There seems to be something here. Something needs to happen here, which would then require you to go back to the path. So maybe this is um, an adventure zone. There's some monsters here to fight. Uh, maybe there's a quest item here to find. So let's just get this working in a build. So I'll just smooth off this like I just said I wasn't going to do. So it's nice to see. Because I'd also like to put a zone change on the, um, the castle itself. Um, because the thought occurs to me, the castle maybe is a good opportunity to explore the use of EBEs in much greater detail. And so you could approach the castle gate and then zone into the castle proper, where you can have a nice interior scene using EBEs and tiled entities to create yourself a very nice and um, uh, a detailed castle courtyard and interior and I think that would be a nice thing to do so that's something that's going to be looked at in the next video but for now let's get this working to make sure it works back and forth in and then we can call today so um, remembering to save it of course you load castle groins do to save yes or save beforehand uh, how the way it works and then once and always remember that you need to go back to the level that you wish your player to start before you build the standalone um, otherwise you'll start on the level you started the process from and I want to start here I don't want to start here anymore I think I'll start over here by the way um, in light of the recent um, short overview on Blender, it would take far too long to do a comprehensive Blender series um, because such things already exist, and this is a primarily a game guru focused tutorial. But I will do a um, a time lapse video of creating a boat asset, which I will use to sh put here, which would be where the player came from. Assuming that wasn't there. Um, so I'll probably do that in the next week or so. And then upload it as a supplemental. Until then. We shall save standalone. We shall save first. No. Yes. Because we've moved the start marker. It's always a good idea to save when it asks you to. Even if you've already saved. Because it's easy to forget small changes. Um, once it's saved. It will um, bring up the dialogue. To show where you want your standalone to be. If we change it um, to the the last one we said in the map bank, so there's no reason to change that. We'll make a new folder, but it's probably not a good idea to save in your map bank folder. Um, I'm just doing it here for expediency and convenience. We'll call this um, tut to test, and then select the folder, save standalone, and it will now, of course. Bring everything together, bring maps, entities, sounds, zones, scripts, squash them into a little tiny ball and then become an executable for your fun and pleasure. Progress complete 85%, just need to wait a little bit longer. 99%, a few fractions of a second more. And it is going to be finished very soon. And... It is tantalizingly close. No, it's finished. Now, all being well, if you open up a new Windows File Explorer and never get to the point where you saved, you should have something like this. So, Map Bank, Touch 2 Test, Castle Grounds, and there it is, your executable file. So, double click to run your game. Um, I should probably cover that at some point, but it's very simply just replacing that file with your own file. 
Um, let's start the game. Loading. So, now our game starts. And the first thing I notice is there's no... Um, there's no indication of where you want the player to go. Um, in the introduction of a small pier or boat here would suggest this is where how the players arrived here. Um, but maybe a path leading to the main path would give the player something to follow. Because um, as it stands, there's a bit of, I mean, the player map run over here. There's no explanation of what's going on. So maybe the best thing yeah, um, a path from the start, just a little worn one, the dirt path, just over here to show the player where you want the player to go to advance the story. So they get to the main path and they could either go up to the castle or they could go off to the forest. Maybe you'd need to collect a key from the castle to open the forest before you can actually get there. So make the player receive instructions for the quest, otherwise they're just doing what they want to do. Now, the player loads up the forest level. And he doesn't. So, this is an issue. Need to find out why. So, escape, and then menu, and quick game. Go back to our level. Now, why did it put us back at the beginning? I suspect I know why. But I'd just like to confirm. Oh, what's it doing over there? Properties. Uh, Tut Forest. The level is just called Forest. So apply those changes and bring that back down to Earth. So it tried to load up a level that didn't exist and must have defaulted to the level it was currently on. So I'm going to take this opportunity to put myself a little path in. So we're taking our dirty texture and then just drag it along here. And you can't really tell this is a path because it matches too well with the texture that was already there. So small clearing and a path going this way, winding between, or in that case through the trees, around the lake shore. And coming up to the path, making sure I don't eat it. Shot in the receptacle, widen the entrance to show that people follow this path and go both ways. I'm going to remove that tree and that one, and even that one and that one. Don't want quite so many trees. Also, I want to get rid of any foliage I'll be on this path There isn't much of it actually So increase that size, hold down shift and draw out the green Because we don't want foliage on the path. This is where people walk and When people walk they tend to um, eradicate things that grow uh, So it's off to the sides of the path in the middle of the forest, yes. On the stone path, definitely not. Even on a dirt path, you wouldn't get too much stuff growing there, if anything. So it's best just to get rid. And now I've got rid of some trees. I'll just add some more in here, so it's not too spartan. And maybe a few patches here, like that. That's a bit better now. I'll put a bit there as well. So, I will save, and I will build a standalone again, same file, same location, same place, same everything, and try again, build a standalone, um, pull up with the dialog box to confirm the file location, and the process is literally exactly the same. So, it's the right folder, select it. Map bank tutorial 2, folder, and save standalone. And once the 
build game has been completed we can double click on castlegrounds.exe to run the latest version of the game hopefully transitioning to the forest as we intended so here's the game we click start I'm loading the first level which is castle grounds and we should start in front of a nice path leading to the road which bisects to the castle and to the deep dark forbidding forest and here we go another lovely path with the boat so we follow the path the terrain could do with some smoothing it's previously been a bit more rocky than it was or than it should be for a worn path but it comes down gives the player something to follow we get to the main road we can look we can go this way um, and we can then hopefully transition fade to black load the new scene and we should be in the forest just loading and here we go we have entered the forest screen we can come in if we was to go back the markers on there would take us back to the castle grounds but going forward you see we're in a rather nice dangerous acid really looking forest I mean could uh, modify this level to go straight through to something else or this could be the source of the next part of your game to um, battle monsters or do a quest now You'll notice, as I'm sure, there's several patches of shadows, okay? This is happening because we previously saved um, baked light maps in this scene, but have since removed the things that cast those shadows. So all we'd really need to do, there were, that was from the roof, that's from the tent, and that was from the bunker. What we'd need to do is go back to this level and rebake the light maps with the current entity layout so those shadows will be removed um, but you get the idea the screen transition works correctly and if we was to go back uh, over this wind zone we'd end up back in the castle grounds um, it wouldn't be exactly as we'd want it to be because we'd appear at the start marker which is near the little boat um, and that's work around would be to have a second map of the castle grounds with the start marker located um, at the mouth of the entrance to the forest um, you could use that as an opportunity to advance the timeline of the game you could perhaps maybe some traders have pitched some tents at the base of the castle or maybe some trees have been cut down or anything you like but um, it doesn't work appearing here you'd have to appear over by the fence to maintain um, a continuity between levels um, but that is about it I shall leave this video for today and I shall see you next time